What is good everybody? Today is November 30th, 2021. In this video, we're going to talk about Dollar Tree, inflation, the headlines, and what I'm doing with my portfolio and what stocks I'm buying. First thing that we're going to start off with is Dollar Tree. The thing about Dollar Tree is that it's not a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five. You might as well put family dollar at the end because it is going up in price. One thing that Dollar Tree now can do is hire miners. The thing that is happening during COVID is that no one's able to find a job. People are quitting. Uh, miners can now work for Dollar Tree at my local Dollar Tree. They are hiring for miners. I would not work there but they are hiring for miners. That being said, a lot of things are going up in value. I think Florida has a bubble going on because I went on a trip to Alaska and rent was about the same. So which one would you rather have if you're a cold person, if you're a hot person, but uh, I would rather live in Alaska where I'm from because rent is about the same as in Florida. So in Florida, rent is about $1,200 for a house, right? And small would be 800 but you're pretty much living in a dorm with somebody. Uh, you can rent a house in Alaska for 1200 right? The same price as down here. The only difference is that gas prices are a little bit higher up there and food is a little bit higher as well compared to Florida. The new hot trending topic for today would be this. The new current information that I have on this variant would be it's coming out of South Africa and it has people worried. People are worried because of the fact that this new variant can still get people infected from the current booster that they have. So basically the people that got the shot or the jab are no longer immune to this new variant. I was watching the news and on the news it had Pfizer and Pfizer was trying to mandate an emergency booster to get everyone the next booster shot. Basically what the United States is currently doing is locking down and allowing nobody from South Africa to come to America currently. Ironically, the stock market took a dive on Tuesday. This is a major indicator that means that we could go back into what 2020 was. The third time is the charm. From every other variant, we didn't have this much publicity. We didn't have this much knee-jerking reaction in the stock market. So I strongly believe this is the one, this is the final domino or the final boss battle. Looking at the markets, it looks like it's teetering towards a dump. If you look at the Dow Jones, the S&P, uh, QQQ, and VIX, it looks like they're all leaning towards a dump. I would say in this next cycle that we're going to have because of this new virus or variant, uh, we're going to see those previous things happen again. So basically, this is just a flashback. I would manage my portfolio in a way that those stocks that you had that took a crap, that went to the floor, like Delta, travel, e-commerce, all that stuff, travel went down, e-commerce went up. So basically, go all in into the ones that went up during the previous state of mind. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, nor this is financial advice, okay? This is only entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Before I go, I would like to say thank you to all the people that support me. I would like to say thank you for all the people that like, comment, and subscribe to me. And just make sure you follow me on Twitter, alright? I greatly appreciate you guys, and I'll see you again.